namaskaram uh, today is the buddha purnima uh, which marks the calendar for the birth of the founder of buddhism or gautama the buddha so today i'm drawing a sketch of gautama the buddha and uh, one of the famous encounter uh, so there are various different versions of this encounter uh, this is a very famous encounter between uh, Gautama the Buddha and then the Anguli Mala so uh, there are many different stories uh, which can lead you up to uh, even you know is this even possible or something but uh, we'll be looking into uh, something that is more profound and uh, this was one of the uh, version of the encounter that actually left the strong uh, print in my mind and my being. Uh, so the story goes like this, uh, Buddha with his uh, cousin brother Ananda, they were traveling from one place to another and uh, they were actually getting late so they had to go through the forest. While Ananda was a little bit cautious and then he was scared and then he thought that, okay, he might have heard that, you know, there is a bandit called Angulimala who was, you know, merciless and he used to, uh, you know, kill any person who was walking through the forest and he would create a garland of the fingers that is how he got his name the anguli mala anguli uh, stands for the finger and then the mala basically means the garland so anguli mala was waiting in the forest so when ananda told buddha that anguli mala was waiting for someone to go through that forest so Ananda was Ananda was like a little bit scared and this was the thing they had to avoid. But what Buddha said that he said two things. The first thing is they were getting late to reach to the another village for his sermon. And the another thing is if he saw that like okay, there's a decoit who is in the middle of the forest, he's waiting for him, then he said that like okay, I'll not make him wait too long. Because for him, decoids and then, you know, people who are doing, uh, uh, let's say, like immoral things or something, he said that like it was a priority for them also to hear the dharma from him, or the dhamma from him. In Pali, it's called dharma, dhamma, and in Sanskrit, it's called dharma. So the teachings they have to learn. So now Buddha was more rushing towards through the forest. And from far, Angulimala was seeing someone else coming towards him. So Angulimala was like, okay, re was ready with his sword. And then, but he was quite, he stood from where they could see him. And he was huge. So he wanted to show them that like, uh, you know, they might be scared of him. So he wanted to show like, you know, just like a gorillas uh, show their power. But Buddha was unflinched and then he kept walking towards him. So this actually surprised Angulimala that normally most of the people who used to meet him, see him from far, they used to run away. But why this person is not running away but actually coming, coming towards him in such a hurry? So he was quite surprised and then the moment they encountered with each other. Angulimala said that, uh, Monk, uh, today is your last day, so uh, you don't know me or something like that, but why you are not running away? You don't know who I am? Can you see this garland of all these fingers? These are all my victims. I'm the most strongest and most scariest person in this entire place and so on. So Buddha said that you are you claim yourself to be strong but you are hiding in this forest that is one thing and i can prove you that like you are not the strongest of them all and uh, because of all these wars and everything he was like uh, angulimala just 
carried away and then he was like a little bit confused as well as intrigued and he said that okay like if I'll prove you that I'm the strongest I'm going to kill you and I'll have your fingers into my garland as well so that was the bid they had and Buddha said that okay anything if you can prove me that you are the strongest then I'm going to give my life and fingers to you without any hesitation so what Angulimala then said is okay then like give me a task what do you want me to do so what Buddha said was can you see the branch on the side Angulimala said yes so Buddha said can you break it and Angulimala said I'm very strong I can take the hands off the people as well so it's not a big issue I can take off the branch very easily so he broke with one go and then Buddha smiled and then said that if you are the strongest now prove that why don't you put it back again and make it the same way it was before so this actually struck him uh, he thought that like he was the strongest and he could do anything but eventually Buddha proved to him that he couldn't put the branch back to the tree and make it just like it was in the beginning so Buddha saying was that if you are the strongest you should not be destroying something what you cannot give it back so if and only if you can give it back to its original condition only then there is your some right to take it and that is where only you get your strength and that is where you are stronger but in this case you can break the branch very easily but you cannot put it back that basically means you are not strong enough so this actually melts Angulimala and that is where the realization started and eventually the Dhamma talk continued and this is where the non-violence comes into the play where you are not supposed to kill something that you have not created or that you don't have the power to be bring it back to the life. So Angulimala later on became the disciple of Buddha and also got enlightened and that is story for the next time. Namaskaram for watching. Buddham Sarnam Gachami. Dhammam Sarnam Gachami. Sangam Sarnam Gachami.